I think integrity and respect are the most healing things. When we, when we mentor young offenders, we listen to them. And if I feel like giving advice to a young offender, I frame it into a question, asking him what he thinks rather than telling him what I think. And when, I, when we started with these young offenders, I was so scared because they really triggered me. Suddenly I was back at boarding school with these kids who wanted to just beat me up because they'd seen me hanging out with my parents and being really happy. But as I got to know them, I realized that I was healing my own wound by helping other young men, the young men that reminded me of that. Because ultimately we have a choice. We can either be a victim or we can learn how to heal ourselves. If I see it in you, I also have it in me. So we've got this wonderful expression called, if you spot it, you've got it. So what we do is we, we teach them about the energies of masculinity. And the biggest question is, how do I heal the wounds of those and accept that I can get angry, scared, or I can be joyous and I can look after those myself. The assumption is that it's not a father's job or a parent's job to mentor their children. It's their job to provide a safe environment for them. It's actually the job of the elders and the, the men in the community to mentor a young man. And if we don't do anything, if the local men in the community don't care, well, yeah, young men will burn our communities down just to feel some warmth. Our training for older men is called Beyond the Hero. So what is Beyond the Hero? Vulnerability and the ability to express my feelings. If we become aware of why I am angry, then I get to know and it stops controlling my behavior from, my, from the subconscious level. So the more I'm asked, why are you angry, Ben? Oh, well, I'm angry because I don't need to get angry because I'm being hurt. Can men do this kind of work when they're being observed by women? And it was incredible because the circle of men in the middle of the room completely lost touch with the fact that they were being observed. And we did an amazing two hours of work. And at the end, I asked the women, uh, would you like to say something? And every one of the women stood up with tears rolling down their faces saying, I have never seen men be so tender with each other. It's my personal ambition as a filmmaker to make this stuff available, to speak it out so that women can hear what we're doing, trust us and know that it's a safe space. What is the Holy Grail? It's a circle of men with their hearts full of blood asking a question, what ails you? And then listening. And that is what will heal our communities. Thank you.